so we're on our way to the um, to where the mountain gorillas are in Rwanda, which is in the um, it's in the Virunga Mountains, and we had the opportunity to get there by helicopter. So that's what we're doing here. And we're just taking off. I just have to say I have a fear of heights, so this was um, particularly uh, interesting, but I actually was able to cope pretty well. You can see us lifting off, and there's Kigali below. Look at those mountains. It's kind of uh, incredible to see just how mountainous Rwanda is. And we're headed to an area where there are volcanoes. And so the gorillas are up in and around the volcanoes. And you land in this, just this green strip. And then we were picked up and we went to the Diane Fossey um, exhibit, which is very close to where we landed. And then off we went towards our lodge. And the countryside is lush with crops and Lots of bicyclists in the road. And because of COVID, they have a curfew, so everyone has to be indoors by 8 p.m. This road that we're going on is particularly bumpy and is more typical of most of the roads we actually spent time on. Huh? African massage. <laughs> And the children just love following, running after the cars when they see them. Hello. Look at this guy with the chicken strapped to the back. And then we went to the gorilla, the baby gorilla naming ceremony place where they make this enormous gorilla in bamboo. They give you a name and then they invite you and then you come. So once a year, a baby, gorilla baby naming ceremony. Uh, it depends on how the, uh, every year, every year, and uh, it depends how the baby born. How the if, baby born? Yes, uh, the last year had, uh, we, we had uh, 25 oh. babies, yes. Five babies? 25. 25, 25 babies. 25 babies. Oh my gosh. Mm. And then there are other animals that they also make, these bamboo structures, and they have a little hut that they make that was evidently a replicate of um, what the, the king once lived in, which was quite small. You can see the hut in the background there. But this thing is enormous.
And there I am standing. And there's Richard. And here we have other animals. Uh, or water buffalo? It does? Oh. Yeah, I, I guess. That's so funny. Lion and giraffe and an elephant. And then we have the the gorillas. And every December or every year, last year it was December, they do a baby gorilla naming festival. It's a biggest festival. And last year there were 25 babies. And there I am with one of the guards. And then with Richard in front of the, one of the mud huts. Lots of potatoes, that's what these crops are. They have found them very inspiring. This is what greeted us. This was our little place that we were staying at the Sabino Silverback Lodge. So I'm heading to see um, these dancers who are coming, which is exciting. And uh, I'm just going to show you. We're up at over 8,000 feet, so I'm a little out of breath. Oh,